All right, first thing, uh, yesterday I had given you a couple quadrental angles and what they were equal to in radians. I'm gonna give you a couple more angles today that by the time you leave class today and you sign off, you're gonna know all these by heart now. So a quick review of the ones we went over yesterday. We went over 90 degrees, so we'll start with this graph right here. We went over 90 degrees and that was pi over two radians. Again, that, this is just something we're gonna use more and more because even the next unit we do, unit four, will still deal with radians. So 90 equals pi over two. We said 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. We said 270 was equal to three pi over two radians. And probably the one we've been using the most is 360 degrees was equal to two pi radians. So those are the four I went over yesterday with you. And if you don't know the radians off the top of your head, that's fine. We're gonna use them more and more that it'll come naturally. Here are the three new ones I'm gonna add in today, the three new ones. So go to the second graph right now. We're gonna start talking about half a 90 degrees or 45 degrees today. That's gonna to come up a lot in these problems. 45 degrees in radians, pi over four, pi over four. I'm not gonna fill in the other ones with you here, just the 45 there. Next graph at the bottom left, we're also gonna talk a lot about 60 degrees today, 60 degrees. And that's pi over three, pi over three. And then finally, we're gonna get even smaller from 60 degrees and talk about 30 today. So you can go to the next graph, 30 degrees, which is pi over six, pi over six. These are the ones I want you to become very, very, very familiar with today. So if you need to flip back and forth to this page as we're doing the problems, please do so. Please do so. All right, before I start the next example, I wanna go over a quick review one. You do not, do not have to copy this down. I got an angle of 330. Actually, you know what, let's make it, let me make it 300. I got an angle measurement of 300. What quadrant am I in? Just wanna check up to make sure we're all good. 300 degrees, what quadrant am I in? Here we go. Eliana, what quadrant am I in? 300 degrees. Four. Good job, four. So here's my initial side. Here's my terminal side. Here's my rotation arrow. This is 300 degrees. Next question for somebody. What's the reference angle right here? Okay, what's my reference angle that I just formed? And how are you finding it? What's the reference angle? Here, let's go. Dan, what's my reference angle? It's 60 because you do 360 minus 300. Yep. Everyone's good, 60 degrees. Here's what I'm gonna do with you today. I am gonna give you guys the reference angle to start the problem out with. I will give you the reference angle and the quadrant we're working in. You have to tell me what angle, what was the original angle? So it's, yes, we are working backwards. So I'll give you the reference angle and the quadrant we're working in. You gotta tell me what the original angle was to begin with. All right, let's do it then. So in these problems, I am giving you theta r, which is the reference angle. It is the reference angle, and I am telling you what quadrant we are in. Now notice, I gave you the reference angle in radians, but pi over six, pi over six. Look back if you need to. Pi over six was what in degrees? Go ahead, Isaiah, what was pi over six in degrees? Thirty. Thirty degrees, everyone. So take a look. And you don't, I'm gonna do a diagram for each one. It doesn't say to do a diagram, but I want you to see this visually here. 
So here's what we just have. In quadrant four, in quadrant four, we have a reference angle of 30 degrees, pi over six, 30 degrees. What was the actual angle theta? So just to give you guys a visual, this is what we're looking at right here. What was the actual angle theta that I started out with? It says find it in degrees and find it in radians. So let's find it in degrees first. Do we have a way? Can you guys give me a way to find what the actual angle was? If you know my reference angle is 30 and the angles in quadrant four. Thoughts, talk to me, just talk to me here. Here we go, Sophia, thoughts? What I can do to find this angle, go ahead. Subtract 360 minus 30. Good job, so 360 minus 30, so that angle was going to be 330 degrees. Great job, everyone okay? But it also says, hey, whoa, whoa, great job leaving it in degrees, but you also need to leave it in radians. All right, here's where I get fired up. You don't need your formula sheet anymore. You don't need your formula sheet. Here's why, ready? We started off with a reference angle of pi over six, which was what in degrees again? Pi over six was what in degrees? Woo. Mason, what was pi over six again in degrees? 30. 30, and I got an angle of 330. I already know pi over six is 30, and I gotta change it into 330. So how many 30s go into 330? That's what I gotta figure out, and I can use my calculator for that. How many 30 times what is gonna give me 330? That's what you gotta figure out for me. 30 times what, because I know pi over six is 30 degrees. So times what is gonna give me the 330? Can we find that for me? 30 times what gives me 330? Yep, yep. Dan, going back to you, what do you got? Um, oh, uh, 30, uh, 30 times 11. 11, everyone agree, 11? So watch, 30 pi over six times 11. It's in radians already. Done, done. 11 pi over six. All right, everyone see where I'm getting that. The pi over six, take a look quick again. The pi over six is 30 times 11, 330, done. I don't have to use that uh, reference sheet anymore to convert. Everyone all right, one doesn't make you great. Here we go, part B. Now my reference angle is pi over three and I'm in quadrant three. All right, so first thing, pi over three, look back if you need to. Pi over three is what in degrees? Here we go, Anna. Pi over three was what in degrees? 60. 60, and I'm in quadrant three, everyone. So let's take a look at what this looks like now. I got a 60 degree reference angle, 60 degree reference angle in quadrant three. That doesn't look right at all. Won't act like you know what you're doing, Carlino. One job. There we go. How about this instead? There we go. So now I have a 60 degree reference angle in quadrant three. All right. What was theta to begin with then in quadrant three? I got a 60 degree reference angle there. What must the angle been? Tell me what you're doing here. To Tell me what you're thinking to find that angle. Woo. Go ahead, Nick. What are you thinking to find that angle in quadrant three? Oh, big dog's not even here today. Didn't even notice that. One job, Nick. Come on, you're better than that. Sophia, go ahead. Um, 180 plus 60? Yeah, be confident. You got it. 240 degree angle. 240 degree angle. All right, but that's also got to be in radians. All right, no problem. We don't need the reference sheet. Our reference angle was pi over three. 
which was 60. So I got to think, what do I need to multiply 60 by to get to my 240? What am I multiplying my 60 by pi over three to get the 240? Hunter, what do you got? What do I got to multiply 60 by? Four. There you go. So pi over three, 60 times four. That's nice, guys, huh? I don't need that quirky reference sheet anymore. As long as I know what pi over three, pi over six, and coming up, pi over four is. How you guys feeling here? Are we all right? Guys, um, Mr. Carly, no? Yeah, sure. So in the first one, you did 360 minus 30. Correct. So in the one, you did 180 plus 360. No, I did 180 plus 60, not 360. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Is there a reason you added in the second one? Well, take a look, take a look where the angle is, Colin. Take a look. In part A, you see where my blue air, my little teal arrow is there? Yeah. That's the angle I was trying to find from here to here. Okay. All right. So to find that angle, I knew this was 360. Take away the 30 that I knew was the reference angle and what's left? This angle right here I'm looking for. Gotcha. Good so far. Now in part B, if I go, ready? If I go from here to here, that's 180 degrees, right? Yeah. But the, there was a little more, there was a little more to the angle to it. So that's why I added 60 more degrees. Okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Part C, everyone. Pi over four. And we're in quad two. Pi over four. So what angle are we talking about with pi over four? Look back at your notes if you need to. Caroline, pi over four. 45. 45. Don't sound so enthused. Here we go. I'm enthused. Yeah, okay. Here we go, guys. Can you guys draw me a 45 degree angle reference angle in quadrant two? Why am I blanking here? There we go. Okay, everyone good? There's my reference angle. What was the actual angle now in quadrant two? Keep it going. Bassett, what are you doing to figure out the actual angle in this case when it's in quadrant two? Uh, would you add it to 180? Okay, here's right here is 180, right Bassett on the line right here? Yeah. So if I went from here to here is 180, but I need less than that. If you add it, I'm if you if you add it, I'm getting into quadrant three now. So I need to go back from 180. So I don't want to add it. What do I want to do instead? Subtract. Yep. Everyone see that 180 minus 45 because I'm going back closer to 90 now. So what's that? 135 degrees in degree in degrees there. Everyone all right? All right, but as you guys know, we got to put it in radians. So I started with a reference angle of pi over 4, which was 45 degrees. All right, what do I got to multiply that 45 by to get to 135? I have 45 degrees as pi over 4. What do you got to multiply it by to get to 135? There we go. Hunter, back to you. What am I multiplying 45 by to get 135? Three. There we go. So three pi over four. Ask away here, guys, if, until we go on to something different. Everyone okay? Ask away. I think, um, I'm still a little confused, but I think I also understand. I just want to clarify. Yep. So, I just get confused when we're adding and subtracting. So we subtract if if we because if we add, it's going to go into a different quadrant. Correct. It's going to. So if you in this case in part C, Ella, if I added forty five degrees to one eighty, yeah. Now my angle's in quadrant three. Right. But they said it was in quadrant two. Okay, I get it. Okay. Yeah. And that's also even if you're unsure to add or subtract, do what you think is right. 
look at your final angle and say, is that actually in the quadrant they told me it was in? All right. Okay, thank you. Yep. Anybody else? Good questions here, guys. Shows me you're thinking and focusing on this stuff. Perfect. All right, some other different stuff now. I have three angles up there. I want you guys to sketch the angle on the graph. And I say no calculator. What I really mean is no reference sheet. You can use your calculator still to multiply. I just don't want it to uh, go to your reference sheet at all. So the first angle I'm asking you guys to graph is 5 pi over 6. And if we were doing these over the last couple of days, I'd say, okay, go to your reference sheet. What do you multiply by? Let's convert it into degrees. You don't need to do that anymore, though. You don't need to convert because you know what pi over 6 is. Look back in your notes. What's pi over 6? Sophia, what's pi over 6? 30. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Look, 30 pi over 6 times 5. All right, we don't need the reference sheet anymore. So I know I'm going to graph a 150 degree angle. That's it. So go ahead, everybody. I don't need, don't need to ask anybody this, I hope. We're in quadrant two, 150, closer to 180. There it is. There you go. And there is a second part, not only sketch it, but find the reference angle now. What's the reference angle in radians? Well, can you guys find the reference angle in degrees for me? What's your reference angle for 150? Eliana, what do you got? What's your reference angle for 150? Wouldn't it just be 150? No, reference angles can't be bigger than 90, remember? Remember, hey, reference, I think you guys are getting it confused with the actual, remember, my reference angle is always this terminal side and the x-axis. What's the? 30 degrees. 30 degrees, got it. Everyone else all right? 30? But it said in radians? Oh, I think I know what 30 degrees is in radians. We've been doing it all today, right? That's pi over 6. Questions about anything? All right, let's move then. Second angle they want you to graph is negative pi over four. Okay, pi over four. Kian, what's pi over four from today? Uh, it's 45, but since it's a negative, it's a negative 45. You got it, that's it, done. This is just so much quicker than before when I know what these uh, special angles are. So negative 45, everyone be careful, it's negative. It is negative, so I should be in, not quadrant one, quadrant four. And making sure my rotational arrow goes clockwise because it's negative. We're all okay with that part. Ooh, what's the reference angle here? Everyone always gets so confused when it's negative, and I understand. Well, try to highlight where, where is your, first of all, locate where that reference angle is. Terminal side and x-axis. There's the reference angle right there. But be careful what you tell me, because I know some of you are just going to write down, oh, that's the same angle we just had, negative 45. But what do you know about reference angles? They gotta be positive. They gotta be positive. So what's my reference angle for this one then? Come on, you got it. Ella, going to you. Um, would you just add 360 to negative 45? You could, but you're gonna get an angle bigger than 90 though. Right. Okay, now look at, do you see the angle I've highlighted, Ella, in pink here? Yeah. That's the reference angle which is the same angle we just graphed, which was negative 45, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I can't have negative 45 because 
I, it needs to be positive. So instead, I just change it to 45. 45, yeah. That's it. It's 45 degree angle right there. And in radians, pi over 4. Is anybody seeing a little, uh, anybody seeing anything from the original angle I started with to the reference angle? Anybody seeing a little relationship between my starting angle and my reference angle in radians? Look at part A. Our starting angle is 5 pi over 6. And what was our reference angle? Pi over 6. Part B, our starting angle, negative 1 pi over 4. What was your reference angle? Pi over 4. I don't know if you're seeing anything yet, but maybe after this last one you will. 7 pi over 3. Seven pi over three. Pi over three. Woo, here we go. Katie, pi over three is what in degrees? Um, 60. Okay, everybody, 60. Now multiply it by seven. So 420 degrees is my angle, 420. Oof. I know some of you don't like large angles bigger than 360, right? I know some of you guys don't like that. So how do you make 420 a little smaller then if you don't like angles bigger than 360? Go ahead, Dan. I want to make that a little smaller, Dan, because I only like angles smaller than 360. So what do you suggest? So you just subtract 420 by 360. Good. So this angle ends up being uh, 60. So at least now you guys know what quadrant it should be in. So 60 degrees is in quadrant one. And everyone ready? Remember, this is not, hey, that's not good enough. That's a 60 degree angle. I had a 420 degree angle. So make it go all the way around the old pinwheel. Reference angle now. Reference angle, positive less than 90. Here it is. X-axis and the terminal side. What's that angle measurement right there that I just highlighted for the reference angle? Sophia, go ahead. What's that reference angle there? 60. That's it, 60 also known in radians as pi over three. Are you starting to see anything guys? I asked before that what you can do from the original angle is just detach the number on top and your reference angles right there. Okay, it's there already. All right, I got two more. We're gonna go through these quick and we're done. Actually, three more. I'm going to add one in. Uh, state the quadrant I'm in. 7 pi over 6. What quadrant am I in? Well, let's figure out what it is in degrees first. I'll let you guys figure that on your own. Go 7 pi over 6. What's that in degrees? You shouldn't have to convert anything on the, four, on the reference sheet. Pi over 6 is what? Times 7. When you get it, let me know. Go ahead, and, uh, Nick. Son of a gun. There we go. Will, what's pi over 6, Will? No, it's 30 degrees. 30, so 30 times 7. What do you got there? With 210. 210. So if I'm an angle of 210, what quadrant am I in? Uh, third. Third. Done. Look how quick this is now. Now that I know what pi over 6 is. And it also says find the reference angle. It's seven pi over six, seven pi over six. So if I just saw all the patterns from the last three we did, your reference angle is gonna be pi over six, 30 degrees. If you wanna set it up on a graph just to make sure, that's fine, but it's gonna be uh, detaching the seven and getting pi over six. Part B, 
Pi over three. Hunter, here we go. What's pi over three? It's 60. 60, and I'm multiplying it by negative two, so what's my angle? Negative 120. Okay, everyone, negative 120. I'll let you guys figure out what quad is in, quad it, it, it is in, and let me know. Anna, when you get there, let me know what quadrant negative 120 is in. Would it be three? Yeah, why are you questioning yourself? Because you would do like the negative yeah. 90 and then negative 80, so it goes clockwise. Because we haven't done that, really. Oh, we haven't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry to hinder your education. Yes. But what we have done, Anna, is, okay, I don't like negative. You could have added 360, right, and got 240, and you still would have ended up in quadrant three. So come at me when you're ready again there, all right? Other questions? You kids, I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to add one more in here, and that's a part C, and I'm actually going to change this to 2 pi over 5. So add a part C in for me here, 2 pi over 5. And I'm going to do this one for a reason. Sometimes, sometimes it's not pi over 3, pi over 6, pi over 4. You're going to see that on your assignment for a couple problems. So I don't know, off the top of my head, I don't know what it is equal to in degrees. All right, but I still have to find the quadrant for you. So uh, unfortunately, because I don't know what pi over 5 is off the top of my head, and I don't want you guys to remember even more stuff, we're just going to have to do this old school and go to our formula sheet now and say, if I have radians, what do I multiply it by to get to degrees? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So if it's not a familiar pi over three, pi over six or pi over four, I got to go old school on you guys and figure it out myself. So we multiply by 180 over pi from the formula sheet. <clears throat> the pies cancel. So now you're doing 2 over 5 times 180. Oh, I'm, I'm ashamed. I don't even know. That. Seventy-two degrees. So what quadrant am I in? Seventy-two degrees. I'm in quadrant one. 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 <clears throat> and now finding the reference angle <clears throat> because it's not a pi over six, a pi over three, or a pi over four. I just can't take the two away, and I'm done. All right, I can't do that anymore. All right, I actually have to go old school here. Anybody know what the reference angle is here for 72 degrees? If it's already in quadrant one? 18. Ooh, 18. How are we getting 18? I didn't, I didn't say 18. I look, said look, 18. hey, hey. Reference Wait. angle. Terminal side, x-axis. Yeah. What's still my reference yeah. angle here? Never mind. 70, it should still be 72 degrees. Remember, if, a re, if an angle's in quadrant one, the reference angle is the same. If an angle's in quadrant one, the reference angle is still the same. And what would that be in radians? Unfortunately, I know some of you guys, we could go back. I don't think we need to here. Don't we already know what 72 degrees is in uh, radians? I don't need to convert again. Didn't we just, uh, isn't that what we started with? 72 degrees is what in radians? 2 pi over 5, what we started with? 
So if it's something unfamiliar, I'm going to have to convert back and forth, unfortunately. That only happens twice in your assignment. And speaking of your assignment, go ahead. Get rolling. It's page 12, due by midnight tonight. It, it, it basically is the exact same thing as your notes, except different quadrants and angles. Let me know. Open up your mic if you want me to talk you through something. There's copies on Classroom if you want to do it in Cami. If we do it in our notes, can we just take a picture? And uh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. No problem with that. <laughs> 